Last time tra on Trails in the Sky, we wrapped up uh, a few side quests, including finding a shiny rock, doing some training over on the uh, vert checkpoint, and replacing movement light. This time, we're here in the Malga Trail. We're looking for a mushroom. Supposedly, it likes grassy areas, but it can be buried underground, so I need to just wander around and see if I can't find it. Uh, now go mine. No thing remains in the chest except the lonely dead spider. That's a little sad. I'm sure it'll stick out to me when I actually find it, but... There's only so much road to actually cover here. Oh, you actually want to fight, do you? Okay. Damn, not enough for one shot. On the other hand, these battles take long enough that it may end up extending or shortening my episodes. You know what I'll have to do uh, when I get back to town? Check out my augment slot to see if I can upgrade anything. I know at this point we're not in Malga Trail, we're over in the Tower region, but I thought it was worth a check. Okay. Oh, you're gonna die. Actually, no, I'm gonna run. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Oh, nope. That's unfortunate. Okay, so this still counts as a magnet trap. Cool. I cannot see these guys. We are running from that one, that's for sure. Hey, there we go. Found it. Uh -huh. What's with the sudden outburst? I found it! Now to claim our prize. Isn't that... You think so too? The place it's growing seems about right, and it's got that soft green glow. This has to be that firefly fungus, so what's this face was talking about? You mean Orvid, right? Yeah, that's who I meant. It doesn't look all that tasty, but it sure is pretty for a mushroom. Almost like the glow of septium, if you ask me. Septium? What's up, Joshua? I may be worrying too much, but I think you'd better put that mushroom in your bag quickly, still. What the? What so monster swarm is attracted to the Just like I figured. This mushroom attracts. So, look out. Let's kill some rabbit cat things. Uh, they have no particular strengths or weaknesses, so... Ow. 
And they are still too weak to actually do anything. One down. Two down. And we can dual strike the other one to finish. There we go. Easy done. We might be a little over leveled for this quest just because of the uh, fights on the Malga Trail. I also noticed the Seller's now got 4 XP more than Joshua because of her fighting and blind. Now that was a surprise, I tell ya. Did you put that thing away? Yep, it's all taken care of. The light emitted by raw septium is the power to attract monsters. This mushroom also seems to have the same effect. That sneaky merchant he never mentioned a single thing about this. Anyway, let's hurry back to town. Right! Just wait till I get my hands on you, you conniving merchant. Ooh, a white bracelet, eh? Prevents blindness. Let's give that to Joshua. Just because Estelle has some better magical abilities that she can use. And run. I don't need to fight you. I'm already a high enough level for now. Really? Eh, it missed. Oof, that hurt. But we're gonna run again. I don't need to fight any of these guys. Come on, I was running directly into him. These ladybugs are very annoying with how aggressive they are. But I'm also not too afraid because, you know. Just need to make it back down here to town and I'll be safe. safe. Okay, Mr. Orvid. We need to talk. What's that you say? You found the mushroom. Yep, we found it, alright. Oh, wonderful. But it might be different than the one we heard from about from you. You see, this mushroom attracts monsters. Uh, well, it's like this. So even though you knew the risk, you hired us for the job, Orvin. What? How was I supposed to know something like that? And besides, a brace's job is to deal with danger, right? Well, a little heads up would have been nice, we could at least have been prepared. Never mind us, the big question here is your motive. What do you intend to use the mushroom for? Yeah, this thing could be used, could be a weapon. Yes, sir, you got some big nefarious plan in mind, right? A nefarious mushroom plan. Uh, what? Isn't it obvious what I'm going to use it for? For cooking, of course. W what? <laughs> cooking? Are you trying to tell me that people actually eat this thing? This is why it's such a pain to deal with country bumpkins. In the hands of skilled chef, the more distinct the ingredient, the more profound the taste. And from that perspective, the firefly fungus is king of them all. This is, no doubt, the ultimate ingredient. So pretty much what you're saying is, that's for people with bizarre eating habits. Hm. That's the talk of one unacquainted with a true delicacy. 
But then again, commoners such as yourselves would never have an opportunity to try such dishes. And praise be to heaven for that. I'd never want to gnaw on a ratty green mushroom like that. Agreed, it looks pretty nasty. Anyway, I have other business preparations to make. Now if you don't mind, I'll ask you to hand over the mushroom and leave. Yeah, please take it. On behalf of this mushroom, I shall turn a blind eye to your ignorance. And as promised, I will pay you, so be grateful to your client. Nobody's going to buy that mushroom, I hope you know. Come on, Joshua, let's go. Please excuse us, we will be going now. Yes, please do. Okay, well that's another one done. Let's make a brief stop in the orbit lab here. Because I want to see if we have enough. We do not. We are short on water for that one. And water on uh, wind for that one. Okay. That's fine. Okay, next up, we need to head south. Because we need to head to... Where was it again? The Garoon Gate, I believe. Well, it's not the Garoon Gate that we're going to, but we need to head this way to get to the Mist World. It all seems so suspicious and like there should be something here. Oh, you're new. You're decently strong as well. Uh, let's heal yourself up. And we're also going to do this. And we're going to pummel the sparrow. Here I come. And there we go, sparrow dealt with. <laughs> wow, damn, not enough. Okay. Uh, let's heal Joshua too. And then Joshua, you can just attack. There we go. Hey, another savory pinion that I already have too many of. need is the mist wall down there we're gonna have to grind up at some point but for now i'm happy to just bypass these fights unless they're new or something this one should give me a Bunch of XP, so let's actually do it. If I can survive, that is. You're going to be way too far away, but let's, do this. let's just get rid of you.
really wish you guys would stop doing that, because it's getting annoying. There we go. Actually hit you. That one actually survived? God damn it. You never mind. Uh, heal yourself. I uh, should be close now. I am not. That's unfortunate. There we go. Dead. Piece of cake. Uh, I'm guessing no, no chests up there. That's dangerous. that would have been the perfect place for a chest to be put. Okay, into the mist world. We're looking for a bear claw. We got a new enemy. Ooh. Okay, so they can be hit with normal attacks, but also they poison. One down at least. Come on, just hit it, please. Oh, that's not good. You need to heal yourself, Joshua. So the lesson I'm learning from this fight is that I'm going to need to, uh... I'm going to need to use a lot of magic on them real fast. That or something tells me I need to just, uh not oh did that just reflect magic back on me i think it did okay well you're gonna die these enemies are full of new and interesting ways to they can hurt me Really? Come on, Joshua. You're better than this. You too, Estelle? Get it, please. There we go. That's that thing. Let's move out. Something tells me that maybe I'm not meant to be here in the mist wall just yet. Uh, items. Okay. You actually killed Estelle. 
Not good. Well, at least I started that fight. And it still stays dead. Okay. I found the bear claw. Now I need to get the hell out of here. Uh, items. Reviving balm. Let's hope that we can make it out of here alive, shall we? There we go, we made it. Something tells me I wasn't quite meant to be going in there yet. But we got what we came for, so let's get back to rolling, shall we? And probably make use of the church services to heal. As well as buy a bunch of healing items. Maybe even some of those accessories that prevent status ailments. Oh boy. Run. Okay, we made it back. And he wants us to go to the church anyway, so... Hey, father. Well, if it isn't a stow, you seem to be in a cheerful mood as usual. Uh -huh. Here you are. These are for you, father divine. This is... The bear claw and the savory pinion you're looking for. Please use them as medicinal ingredients. You requested these at the guild, right? That's right, I did put in a request. I'm just surprised that you went to all the trouble to do this for me. Weren't you hurt trying to gather these? Nope, you were totally fine. Liar. You were dead. I mean, we were fine. Well, maybe minus the totally part. <laughs> I'm worried about your attitude, Estelle. Yeah, why? There's nothing to be worried about. I know I've told you this before, it's certainly a joyous occasion when everything goes well. However, it is at these times when we should gird up our loins for the trials that lie ahead. Okay, I'll be more careful from now on. Hmm, since I seem to have a bit of spare time. How about I take this opportunity to give you a special sermon? No! Anything but that? I'm sorry, Father, but we've really got to get going. You've still got work left to do, right, Joshua? Why do you have to bring me into this? Please excuse us, Father, but we have to get back to the guild. That's too bad. However, since it has to do with your job, I must respect your position. Thank you for all your hard work, Estelle and Joshua. I pray that the gods will always be with you. Now, the question is... Does he... Is there a way to have him... Kill me? I don't know that there is. Ah, interesting that that's its own little area up there, but... Like, I was hoping that there would be a service here that would heal me being a church. But I guess not. So let's turn in our quests, and then we can, uh... Get on with the main one. Good work! It seems like you completed your objective without any trouble. If you finish any other jobs, please come back and report again. And if we check... Oh, we need to actually uh, go and report to Freddy, and then we can finish up. 
We're back, Freddy. Oh, hi, Estelle. The look on your face, it seems like you finished the job. Yep, and we did a fine job too. Although we did have a few hangouts. Before we report to you as a matter of good measure. So it really was burnt out, huh? I'm sure it happened because we were late replacing it. Sorry kids, you were put in harm's way because of me. There's no need to apologize, it comes with the territory. Dealing with dangerous jobs is a part of her grace's work. Appreciate you saying that. Oh, I know. How about I give you this to make amends? Impede 2. This is a quartz? Yep, it's an Impede 2 quartz. It can prevent an enemy's arts. It can be pretty useful if you use it effectively. Thanks! We appreciate it. No, thank you to the both of you today. If you need to discuss anything about Auburn, just stop by anytime. Don't forget to swing by if you have any other business needs. Okay, now we can hand that in. I should have checked before coming in here. Oh well. Is that it for the board? Yep, all reported. So, next time on Treasure in the Sky, first chapter, we're going to head up to the Mayor's residence and start on our next story quest. See you then.